Uh, Fast and the Furious, uh, this is coming to us. Uh, Vin Diesel announced on his Instagram that he and his producing partner, Samantha Vincent, are developing a female-driven Fast and Furious spinoff based on a pitch they recently received from writers Nicole Perlman, Lindsay Beer, and Geneva robertson Dorrett. And you know, if you've been listening to or paying attention to movie news, you know those ladies are involved with a lot of female superhero films about to come out. Uh, and they learned that all three of the, uh, they, he learned that, uh, oh, Collider's learned that three, the three scribes pitched the project together but it remains unclear whether all three will be available to co-write the script together. Uh, you mentioned that Michelle Rodriguez has been pushing for this for years, um, but Gal Gadot, who we just spoke about with the Wonder Woman franchise, she passed away in Fast and Furious. How are they going to make this work uh, as a female-led? Are we getting Jordana Brewster back? Is Charlize Theron going to come back? Like, what, what do you see happening here? And first of all, do you like this idea? Then what do you see happening here? I like the idea in the sense that, you know, Universal has to do something to keep that franchise fresh, you know, because mm -hmm. they, uh, they're about to start Fast 9 and then Fast 10 has already been announced. So you need to, like, reinvent the franchise and, and put a new twist on it. If that means female-driven, then that's great. There's a lot of great female characters in this franchise sure. that you can spin off and, and have uh, fun adventures with, but at the same time, you know, they've kind of been beaten to the punch already by a lot of other franchises who are going this route. Uh, so we're going to be getting a lot of this over the next few years. You couldn't ask for three better, you know, s uh, screenwriters. These are, these are I, and I made a real point in my article not to say these are three of the top female screenwriters mm -hmm. these are just three top screenwriters period right now like they're getting hired on huge projects mm -hmm. um, so they all went in and pitched it together and it sounds like uh, Vin Diesel sparked to that pitch I don't know if they'll all write it together just because they all they're all they're, they're all contracted mm -hmm. out to a, a, a bunch of big jobs and it's also very rare to see three writers hired together you know maybe two write it and the, and the other one settles for story credit I don't know but fr from what I understand it could be said at different time periods within the franchise. Okay. Like, this is a franchise that likes to play with time, so I think anything is on the table, including a possible return, return for Gal Gadot. Obviously, Universal would love to bring her back. Yeah, and she already did that in uh, the second Wreck-It Ralph movie, playing a race car driver huh? in that film as well. So wouldn't that be a, there'd be a live-action version even more so? Uh, yeah, you talk about these ladies and what they wrote. Captain Marvel, Black Widow, uh, uh, Lindsay Beer worked on the Silver Sable movie. Robertson Dwight worked on Captain Marvel and Silver Sable as well. This is a powerhouse lineup of screenwriters to bring this. Life. It's interesting that Vin is still able to pull in this with this franchise who's about to make what? It's getting, it's making its ninth film and already signed for a tenth film. Now we're spinning off with Hobbs and Shaw with The Rock and Statham. Now we've got a female spin. Is this surprising to you, Dennis, that this franchise is still kicking it after all these years and then have this possibility of female yeah uh, i am surprised because i remember when their franchise was close to dying after yeah. it was the third one mm -hmm. yeah like like and then the fifth one is the one kind of that revitalized it. and then the you know these are i enjoy these movies they're they're dumb fun so i don't know like with how good the i mean the screenwriters that they they've hired for this are good screenwriters mm -hmm. i'm just wondering how how far they're gonna go in terms of like how deep or complex none of these movies are very deep or complex right, right. You you know, points, you, yeah. you got, you know, cars flying from one building to to the another, another. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not surprised at all. And I, I do think they're going to bring uh, Gal Gadot back, back yeah. because, you know, Michelle Rodriguez's character, if I'm not mistaken, her character died as well, right? Yeah, and, she and, did. And, uh, well, she came back. And it was she died, yeah. and then she came back. No, no problem. I mean, yeah. What happened to Gal, Gal Gadot's character? I think she like fell off the back of a whatever. Yeah. yeah. And we we didn't see her body or anything. It's like, oh, she just she she got really hurt. They took her to the hospital. She's been she hiding out amnesia. for the five years. Yeah. <laughs> why not? She's Wonder Woman. Everyone yeah. knows. It. She's sure. at that time when they had her in the movie. She, you know, the the thing is, she was known as a model. She was not a big part. I, I almost forgot that she was in that franchise mm -hmm. until after when she, she she became Wonder Woman. So that's yep. the question. It's like, do, you know, could she possibly feel like she's too big to reprise this character and go back to this franchise? Or is it like, wow, this franchise sort of gave me an opportunity when nobody saw me as anything really more I, than a I, model. I, I think it's just money. I, 
<laughs> yeah, I think, I think Dennis it's just money. cuts right down to Brad's yeah. tax. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Gina Rodriguez is a possibility to bring in some new blood, new female mm -hmm. blood. You know, her coming off Annihilation, her coming off this uh, Miss Bala. We'll mm -hmm. see how that does, how that gets received. There's a lot of actresses, young actresses of multiple ethnicities that could slide into this franchise. This franchise has always been great about doing that. They could slide into this franchise on the female side of things and create a, a fun spin-off world that you want to take a part of. And if they jump around in time, they jump around in time. I think the fans don't care. No. Just let's have some big dumb fun in there and let's see some car chases and make it death-defying and everything like that. I just wonder what Michelle Rodriguez's role would be in this issue more like, you know, like the veteran on the team kind of leading everybody. She take, yeah, she yeah. becomes the Dom character. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in essence, right? That's the way it would go down. I like this idea. I, I'm excited about it. I'm a guy who likes these Fast and Furious films. And look, I've never walked out of one going, whew, that was awesome. I've always walked out of one going, I had a good time. It was ridiculous, and none of the story made sense, but I had a great time. And I think that's okay. And I, I think Hobbs and Shaw might be the one that I walk out of where I'm like, that was awesome. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see if they do that. And if they do a female one, why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, so much of these franchises are now leaning towards having female leads, and they're working, and the money is there at the box office to show that these decisions make sense overall. So I like it overall.